Case, light trigger, massive grand trine ruling planet is the Sun in Leo from August 19th, 2018 through August 31st, 2018, lasting 12 days. White Horse Canada is the closest named land area to the start of aspect at Midheaven as well as the Atlantic Oceans. West Coast Hot Zone, possible known threats, Cascadia and Juan de Fuca fault lines. All signs involved with this aspect are fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All active signs have a negative annotation associated with them. The temple, for instance, was destroyed twice on the same day, the 9th of Av, with the sun triggered in Leo. Areas of interest include... Afghanistan, France, USA, Italy, Macedonia, Romania, Sicily, Zanzibar, Bhutan, Bolivia, Central African Republic, Chad, the Ivory Coast, Gabon, Indonesia, North Korea, South Korea, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Maldives, Nicaragua, Pakistan, Mongolia, Singapore, Ukraine, Madagascar, Mexico, Peru, Colombia, Chile, Hawaii, all of the Middle East and Israel might be associated with this sign since it could be a trigger connected to the previous lunar eclipse on uh, July 27, 2018. Small list of cities of interest are Bristol, Bombay, Chicago, Madrid, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Rome, and Bath. By tropical layout of the sun are Crete, Brazil, Greece, Switzerland, Turkey, West Indies, Armenia, Belarus, Brazil, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Estonia, Guatemala, Honduras, Mali, Mexico, Moldova, Qatar, Tajikistan. <clears throat> Cities of interest, Athens, Paris, Toulouse, Corinth. Leon's Boston. I am very interested to see how this sign will affect the world. A quick illustration of this statement can be found in the book of Job. Job chapter 38 verse 33. Do you know the laws of the heavens or do you set their rule over the earth? The sun represents vitality, proclaims the year, proclaims the month astro sign. Major prophetic God moving events happen with the sun in its corresponding constellations. Proclaims mankind's current age at equinox. First of major interpretation in formula. Two ways of interpretation from vernal equinox. Saturn represents wisdom, time, greater in fortune, documenter, Satan in some opinions. It has masculine tra uh, traits, accountability, the destroyer, judgment, the greater malefic, opposing Jupiter, i.e. contracting influences as Jupiter increases influences. When they are in opposition, Saturn is the great ender, meaning he can bring current events to an end. Uranus represents electric and crammed with change. Uranus is forward-looking. It balks at tradition. Its focus is originality and individuality, and deals more with the unseen spiritual nature and forces at work behind the scenes. In dealing with aspectual science of interpretation by signs and houses, Leo represents a destructive force either of man or nature he is hot and brings agitations and war he is fierce and puts people on edge when activated properly the sun rules the house of leo therefore leo is the main force of interpretation during this aspect aries represents survival blood i.e sacrificial animal and brings a warlike annotation associated with it since it shares characteristics of leo the same applies to Sagittarius, but Sagittarius also represents a type of wisdom, but is also warlike with his bow ready to strike. Now since Saturn is involved with this sign, it's possible that all of the chaotic worldly events that have transpired during the summer months, they will all be coming to a possible end since Saturn marks the end to things in the aspectual science. So this sign could be interpreted two ways in my opinion. All things associated with this sign, though, seem to be of a bad report and full of violence and despair. So hopefully, with Saturn, these things are just coming to an end, but it will also be 
but it could also be that since Saturn is not the ruler of this particular sign, he is bringing a greater malefic interpretation with him, increasing the language of Leo, since these three hosts of heaven have become allies at this time and are working together. So it's doubtful, in my opinion, that this forecasted sign means anything good. There is no contracting forces at work with this sign, and so the interpretation, in my opinion, is pretty solid. The strength of this sign is massive and is the strongest sign of the year. It will last a full 13 days, and it is ruled by the ace, the sun. There are two smaller sextiling trines on the 19th, but their angles are weak and their aspects are short-lived, so we did not put much time into interpreting them. Plus, our main translator was unable to get the last translations done of these minor trines before the trigger date, so we just have the main trine translation available. I mainly only forecast on signs of the heaven that look bad so I can warn people. I'm not saying that the world is going to end or anything with this sign and that every single person will be affected by it, but we should do as the Master Messiah said and watch and pray, and perhaps the evil of this sign will not come to pass. Another important scripture to note is in Jeremiah. God says not to be dismayed about the signs of the heaven as the nations are. So if you are in covenant with the Creator, he is able to save his people in every regard to every situation and does not want us to be afraid of anything that is spelled out in the heavens. Now, translation of the sign by Michael Deusters using the Comprehensive Etymological Dictionary of the Hebrew Language by Ernest Kleene is Semek Yod Mim means to finish, to end, or to terminate. Leftover letters are Kof, Shin, Zain. In Hebrew, it translates as straw, but the etymological book has only Kof, Shin, which means straw, stubble, or chaff. Semek, Mim, Kof means to red, redness, or blush. Shin, Kof, Min means to stand up, arise. Shin, Kof, Yod with a hay as a suffix means irrigated land irrigation channel. Kaf Semek Mim means to practice divination, diviner, but original meaning meant to cut out, break, or divide. Kaf Mim Zain means to be contracted or be shriveled. Leftover letters are Shin, Semek, Yod, which, if one drops a Vav between Semek and Yod, it means plundered, spoiled, pillaged, set on, of a dog, inciting, instigation. Kof, Mim means enemy or foe. Kof, Yod, Shin means clapping, clink, to compare, to draw analogs or conclusions. Kof, Yod, Semek, Mim means to chip or splinter. Kof Yod Mim means existence, duration, permanence, living, enduring, valid. Mim Shin Kof Yod means household or administration. Mim Shin Kampf means possession, running about noisily, joint in a building. Mim Shin Yod Kampf means tangent. Mim Shin Yod means silk. Yod Shin Mim means to apply or be desolate. Yod Mim means sea, lake, large basin, or reservoir. Yod Zain Mim means initiator or initiation. Zain Yod Kampf means spark, comet, blast of wind, storm, skin bottle. Yod Kampf Shin means to lay a bait, to lay snares. Zain Kampf means to chain, fetter, spark, fiery arrow.